Hi everyone, Sunday 23rd of August, Janet Smart here. We're starting at Devil's Elbow, which is allegedly the tightest hairpin bend on the Great Ocean Road. Um, now I have it on great authority, Campbell, Craig, but you can walk all the way along the beach from here to Lawn. Unfortunately, the weather is not going to permit us to do that. And I can certainly say I'm not going down that path. Ocean's a bit choppy today. Long way down, long way down. Maybe this is the path Campbell was talking about to go down uh, to walk along the beach. It's uh, bit of grassy creek down there. Just over here in the distance is what a lot of uh, lawn people my age would call Tin Hill. Now every Australia Day, the Saturday that fell the closest to Australia Day, some of the local lads would jump on the back of a truck with their eskies and uh, their barbecues and they'd come round here and they'd sit up on the hill to celebrate Australia Day and then one of the local non-drinkers would come back out in the afternoon in a truck pick them up as they rolled down the hill back on the truck back into town and pretty much home to bed then so I thought we'd just drop in and have a look at St Bernard's camp been here for a long, long time. Long time. It's very quiet at the moment though, for obvious reasons. Very peaceful and tranquil here, apart from the motor on the car. Made our way up to S Cinema Point. So that's where we were before at Devil's Elbow. So this is the entry to uh, Aluka at uh, Cinema Point. So this property was one of 40 that were sold off to um, provide funds for the building of the Great Ocean Road. Um, the property, the house itself was burnt in Ash Wednesday. And for us those of us that were here in Ash Wednesday, the memory is still very, very vivid of that fire roaring along the coastline that came down from Dean's Marsh. Okay, at Cinema Point now, 95 metres above sea level. I can zoom over here. So down to the ocean and grassy creek coming out into the ocean down there so cinema point was actually uh, named after a silent movie documentary that was shot here by a film company a, a french one in 1919 so it was a film about the work along the great ocean road um, and there is no known copy available in the world anymore. So just going to the edge of no public access road. So I can give you a view down onto the mouth of Grassy Creek. There you go, that's a view from the top. From Cinema Point. I wouldn't be walking around there today. Okay, uh, another little piece of trivia for you. Um, just in here, which is at Herschel's Road, one of our local policemen was just driving around during the day in the middle of the week, quite a few years back now. Saw a car parked in here. He thought, now that looks a little bit suspicious. 
So he pulled up and what he found was uh, a fella digging a grave. He uh, had a body in the boot of his car and he'd been driving around with that body in his car for over a week, I think. So needless to say, um, he didn't get to bury the body. Just show you all the netting along here. It's been installed to try and uh, prevent the slipping of the banks along the Great Ocean Road. I must say it's not getting any warmer. Um, just come down from Big Hill, down the s -Bends, and we're just down at the bottom here high tide as you can see. Cathedral Rock over there, famous surfing spot. Um, this beach here in front of us, in 1992 there was a large whale that was washed up on the beach here. Um, there'd be lots of people from Lawn who have photographs of that. They actually moved it onto a semi-trailer on the side of the road here to take it back into Melbourne to the National Museum where the skeleton is now. They trucked it into Lawn to, so they could turn around on the semi-trailer and the stench after it being on the beach for a week was just something you cannot describe. Anybody who was in Lawn at the time could tell you the town, the entire town just reeked of dead fish for hours afterwards. A little bit of added trivia, um, uh, Cathedral Rock was the first nudie beach along this little strip of coastline. Um, I was trying to get the husband to do a, uh, a streak for you, but uh, yeah, tide's too high, water's in, and it's freezing cold. This is the, uh, the staircase down to Cathedral Rock. So that's where the guys, Monday to Friday, if they're not at work, the tradies, this is where they'll be, Cathedral Rock. So as the sign says, uh, this is the site of the last toll gate for collecting money from people travelling along the road to help pay for its uh, the building and its upkeep. Okay, it's not getting any warmer here. Wind's picking up. That's a view just coming into Reedy Creek here. A view of the township of Lawn. Okay, other side of Reedy Creek here, looking back towards Aries Inlet. Before the guardrail was put in place over here, um, it's quite common for cars to come around that corner and not calculate that little bend properly and uh, end up on the beach. Okay, just stopped off at um, Jump Rock, which is quite a popular little fishing spot between Reedy and Lawn. It also used to be the spot where the sewage from Lawn used to be pumped out into the ocean. See a bit of the concrete down there on the rocks where they've covered up the pipe which goes out into the ocean. This doesn't happen anymore, thank goodness. So we've just crossed over the ocean road to the other side to have a little wander along the Stony Creek and uh, show you a bit of Camel's Lily Pond Walk.
that. Here's the lily pond. Not very still at the moment, that's for sure. Now, just heading over the swing bridge. then so um, I got my Herald and my junior certificate here later on got my senior swimming certificate at the pool so the mouth is quite wide today because of all the rain that's coming down the river pushing the water out to sea and that wind has just kicked up a beauty Local kids used to jump off here, used to be a lot deeper then. Uh, what else? Um, a lot of local kids, this would be their first place they learnt how to fish. Out along the edge of the river. This is a paddle boat shed. Paddle boats used to run here for many years. Uh, a great attraction for the tourists. Now it's just a little cafe and unfortunately due to COVID it's not open so we can't stop and have a coffee and take in the scenery. So this is the end of my virtual walk from uh, Grassy Creek right to the swing bridge in Lawn. Hope you enjoy. Thank you.